It's time. It's time for the Billy for the Billy Billy Flynn experience. Thanks so much for joining me today on a Sunday afternoon. This is the Billy Flint Experience, and I am Billy Flint. We're going to jump right into today's topic. And actually, this is more so an apology. This is definitely going out to... Dr. William Cosby and the reason that I say that is because I think it was about maybe two days ago I did a podcast about Bill Cosby making a statement on R. Kelly's trial and how it was reported and I blame myself because I've I've gotten information from a third party instead of doing my research. The statement that was posted on the Internet on all major social sites. And it was a statement. Once it was posted, it was a statement saying that it was quoted from Bill Cosby. And it wasn't actually Bill Cosby who made the statement. It was his lawyer. Andrew Wyatt. And I wanted to come back on here. Because I fell for the lie, the fake news. I don't know. I don't know whether it is fake news or whether it's a lie or maybe he did say it, but. I just want to be fair because I don't believe in fake news. I don't believe in spreading misinformation, especially on a platform where you're where the individual is supposed to be a journalist providing correct, concise information. So. Again, the statement that was made and I'm going to read you a a post that was done by Andrew Wyatt, which is Bill Cosby's lawyer. And it says as the publicist of Mr. Bill Cosby. Okay. It was his publicist, not his lawyer. Okay. See, this is this really anyways. I have the right to my opinion. And my opinions is not a reflection of Mr. Cosby's. Yes, I feel that Robert Kelly was railroaded and those were my words, not the words of Mr. Cosby. I will continue to reflect my views because the First Amendment allows me the same privilege as the media. Thank you very much. Unquote. And again, that's from Andrew White. I thought it was his lawyer. Now it's saying it's his publicist. But again, I did not do my in-depth research. And I was only going by third party information. So lesson learned from me. But at the same time. I definitely have to say that still does not take away from what Bill Cosby has done. So I don't want to get it twisted. I just want to make sure that I myself as a content provider that I will man up and admit my mistakes if I so happen to put the wrong information out for everyone to hear. I don't want to become a part of Many, many platforms and individuals who spread gossip, 
or misinformation all for likes, views, or whatever. That's not my intention. So with that said, again, I apologize, Dr. William Cosby, because those were not your words. Those were the words of, again, his publicist, Andrew Wyatt. So with that is that being said, I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And this is going to be a short, really short blog. So, again, I just want to make sure I apologize and everyone know that uh, I made a mistake. So and continue to enjoy your weekend. Look forward to being with you again. Again, thank you so much for joining the Billy Flint experience. And this is Billy Flint. Stay healthy and take care of yourself.